Hey, what's up there guys? Core here with Gotta Be Mobile and the brand new Android M release that was just announced and released today by Google at Google I.O. 2015. Now what we have here is Android M, the successor to Android 5.0 or 5.1 Lollipop, running on the Nexus 6. They released this today for the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and the Nexus Player. And what this is is an early developer preview or beta of the next release of Android. So what we have here is Android M in an unfinished state for developers to kind of test. So this is not final software. There's you know a couple features missing. A lot of the new things that were announced today are not included on the Android M release, but will be here when Android 5.2 Marshmallow or Macadamia Nut Cookie or whatever they call Android M is released later this year will all be included. But for now, not everything is included, but it is still kind of a great experience. And we just want to give you a quick look at it. So as you can see here, it's it's very smooth and fluid and everything we expect from Android Lollipop. When you go into the search bar here, you kind of get some of these quick like icons up here for a recently used apps. I recently opened Hangouts and Google Wallet. So those are right there when you tap like the Google Now search. Another thing that's changed is the actual uh, application tray. Uh, I'm not really a fan. Uh, it is kind of nice in a way that you can hit search and go ahead and search for apps that are you know, quickly in your, in your application tray. But they put a couple quick ones up top that you've recently used and then everything is alphabetized as usual but with letters and gaps. So it's kind of a clean look but also might not be for everyone. But it is nice the, the way they've kind of done this. So if I open something other than Photos or Hangouts or Google Wallet, uh, those will be up top and kind of start to, to take charge as you open more things on your device. So it's kind of a nice way to have things that you've recently opened in the top for quicker access, making the experience easier for the end user. Now, of course, there's a lot of new stuff here. Uh, Google's done a lot of stuff with uh, fingerprint scanners and fingerprint support built in with, you know, like the Galaxy S6. There's Google Now, uh, Now on Tap. There's uh, better web integration. There's Android Pay, which is kind of similar to Apple Pay, which is supposed to replace, uh, you know, Google Wallet, but that's actually not on this. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff coming, but a lot of stuff that's not in the Android M preview. So uh, we go ahead and come in here and go down to About Phone. You can see Android M right here, and then the Easter egg, everyone wants to see that. If you tap long enough, there's no flappy birds or anything weird. You just get a little symbol at the bottom, little frowny face. But uh, to give you a little bit more of a look here, we have the same notification pull down bar that we're used to with some of those quick settings and options like Android 5.1. There's a new Do Not Disturb option here. Of course, the cast and flashlight and all these other quick settings are still enabled. You can go ahead and head into settings, and uh, it's for the most part is you know all the same as it was with Android 5.1. But there's a couple of things that's new. Of course, you know you can go into users and make you know a second user account. Um, Android Tap and Pay doesn't work. Uh, the Android Pay. It doesn't do anything. I tap how it works and it doesn't do anything. It's just still Google Wallet for now, but that'll probably be available later this year. And then, of course, a big thing is app permissions. There's a new Google tab in here that shows you everything from uh, your account history, Google Ads, connected apps, you know, what apps are connected to my Google account, which is a lot of them, and uh, location and play games and searching now and history and smart lock and lots of stuff in there. And as you scroll through, there's just a lot of uh, little things here. If you go ahead and go into apps, it shows you all of your apps as usual. And uh, let's go to one of those. A new thing is app permissions. That's a very big aspect of Android M. So if you go into an app like Hangouts, which uses a lot of different things, there's a new option for permissions. And what this does is allow certain apps to have permissions, uh, to be granted permissions on your phone. So here, Google Hangouts can see my contacts, can use my phone to make calls, I can take pictures with the camera, use them in Hangouts, it finds my location, uses my microphone, and uh, you know, sends text messages. So now with Android M, each app, instead of having all this kind of enabled when you install it, will you'll be asked to actually grant permissions to apps on a per app per permission basis. So for things like WhatsApp or new text message applications or Facebook Messenger is a big one, people want to know what all those permissions are, it'll ask for them individually and you can turn those off individually, but of course you'll lose functionality of certain things with each app. Another thing that's actually really neat that I just noticed is if you head into the developer options, which is hidden, there's a new theme option where you can go ahead and go to dark and now the entire settings menu is black instead of white. That's kind of neat. 
nice little feature uh, for those that want it. Nothing really you know, crazy, but a lot of people like something different. There's also an automatic one, which I'm assuming will change to light and dark based on the time. Then nothing here is a brand new feature called Google Now on Tap. Now, as we all know, Google Now is extremely you know, powerful and can give you the news and weather and updates. And Okay, Google, how's the weather? All those things we love and know about Google Now, but with Google Now on tap, you push and hold the home button and you'll get a new floating kind of icon at the bottom. So if you're in a text message and you need some information really quick, you can push and hold and Google Now on tap will appear and won't affect what you're doing and give you options kind of to quickly interact with Google Now to get directions, find movie times, all kinds of different things. But that actually doesn't work. Cards on the about screen you were just viewing aren't available in this release. Just tells you to go to regular Google Now. So Google Now on Tap doesn't work. Android Pay doesn't work. The new Photos app is here. The Google Photos, which is actually pretty neat. Let's go ahead and open that again. And this is the brand new Google Photos. It's very similar to Apple Photos in a sense. They've done a lot of new things um, to make your Google Photo backup experience better. There's a lot of auto awesome features to make just your photos bright and edit them and share them and you name it. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. And uh, you can pinch to zoom to see more photos as you can see there. You can click long press, kind of drag to select multiple photos at once. And then of course navigating through all your photos is now a breeze. There's a lot of new stuff in Google Photos so that's kind of separate from Android M as a whole. We're going to go ahead and back out of that. You have your typical multitasking menu or recent apps menu and just a quick swipe will clear all those like usual and again if you go into here you'll see a couple of those recent apps I've opened if I open the camera maybe open uh, something different like Google Maps and then go back in the app tray you see the camera and maps up top some of those recent apps in the in the application tray but there's not a lot here that's that's different or new that we can show you. So this was just a quick look at Android M on the Nexus 6. And hopefully a couple more updates uh, arrive or second versions of the developer preview with more features on board before the actual Android M release later this year in Q3. We're expecting it to be around November. That's kind of when Google's released KitKat and Lollipop, but we're not sure for now. This was just a quick look. Thanks for watching, guys.